Houston area third graders wrote angry letters to McDonald's? I'm loving it. Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in 1987, Texas Attorney General Jim Maddox issued a warning to McDonald's president, Ed Renzi. Why? Well, some furious third graders at Hall Elementary over in League City had written letters to Maddox, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, and directly to McDonald's asking that the fast food restaurant stop an ad campaign that claimed their food was nutritious. Now, in a health class, the students had learned that a McDonald's DLT, you remember one half of the burger, the side with the lettuce and tomato, stayed cool in one half of the packaging, while the beef stayed hot in the other, and then you put it all together. It's quite the invention McDonald's came up with. Well, the students figured out that despite the lettuce and tomato, the McDLT contained 1,000 milligrams of sodium and 10 teaspoons of grease. Mm, what a burger. No, really, I'd rather go to Whataburger. I'm there all the time with my producer and writer. I'm sure you could tell. Now, this is just speculation, but I think the students' letters worked. Maddox warned McDonald's to stop running the misleading ads in Texas, and six months later, McDonald's introduced salads on their menu for the first time. But I personally wish they'd bring back the McShaker, said no one ever. Uh, who wants to get McFlurries, though? Kind of sounds good, doesn't it? All right, let's get serious for a second. Do you think McDonald's ad campaigns are still a little deceptive? Leave me some chicken nuggets and thought, thoughts below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV using hashtag ForgottenDayHOU and I'll tweet you back. What do you think's actually in a chicken nugget? It's a little terrifying, the thought.